Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question, unique pass. So there are robot on M by N uh, grid, um, and then the robot is initially located at the top left corner here, and the uh, uh, grid 00, and the robot tries to move to the bottom right corner here, and uh, the robot can only move either down or right at any point in time. So given the two integers M and N, return the number of possible unique passes and that the robot can take to reach the bottom and the right corner here. So let's see the example. So you are given like m equals 3 and n equals 7. So we get uh, this kind of 2D grid and the output is 25 because, um, yeah, um, I'll explain the detail later, but the uh, um, robot uh, can move like down or right. Oops. So after we all uh, we calculate all passes, so that should be 28, so that's why we should return 28 in this case. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create uh, a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So m equals 3 and n equal 4. And uh, this is a start point, and the robot is now here, and the goal is here. So to solve this question, and it's obvious, um, we can have only one way to get to um, these edge places, like uh, uh, horizontally and vertically, because the uh, description said this robot can move only right or down. So there's no place here, uh, like from left side, and there's no place like above here so that's why uh, we can only one way to get to uh, these edge places so that's why first of all we should add one to all edge places like this and uh, okay so let's think about here so um, this robot can move only uh, right or down so if this robot uh, take uh, like a right first then this robot move here, and then if uh, this robot want to get to here, um, there is only one way to get to uh, here, like a uh, down, move down. So, and uh, if this robot um, move down fast, and then if this robot want to uh, get to reach here, there is only one way because uh, this robot uh, can only like a uh, right or down. So that's why um, uh, total number of paths to get to here should be 1 plus 1 and 2, right? It's obvious, like, a, like this or this. It's obvious. And uh, let's think about uh, this place. So uh, if this robot want to get to this place, so robot move from um, this place or from this place because uh, yeah as I explained uh, like many times so this robot can move only right or down this robot cannot move like left so that's why um, um, so the total number of paths to get to uh, this place should be 1 plus 2 and the total three. So let's check. Like uh, this is a one way, and uh, like this, this is a one way, and uh, this is a one way, and then total three. And uh, so let's think about uh, this place. Uh, actually, same thing. Um, so robot uh, can move from here over here. So that's why one plus three and four. Right, so so this place uh, there is a three ways, and uh, so that's why when we move like this, um, there is a, like a three pass, and then um, from uh, each place uh, there is only one way, right? Like uh, this, so that's why one plus three and four. Yeah, so uh, I will uh, like speed up. So this place, um, uh, same thing like. Uh, 2 plus 1 and 3 and then uh, for this place 3 plus 3 and 6 
and then uh, goal area so 4 plus 6 and the total 10 and then we should return this number so in this case uh, so unique pass uh, total number of unique paths should be 10. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. Okay, so let's write a code. First of all, uh, create a 2D grid. So grid equal, so this is a little bit complicated, but uh, all places are initialized with one for x coordinate. So that means this direction. And uh, for x in range, and uh, that should be n and uh, create a so vertical line and uh, how can we do that just for y in range and uh, m so then we can create a, like a 2d grid and uh, after that i'll uh, start iterating like for y in range um, start from 1 um, and uh, to m so uh, why we start from 1 because uh, we uh, as i explained earlier we know that um, all edge places are uh, 1 so we don't have to calculate these edge places so that's why we start from 1 and uh, also uh, for x in range so start from 1 to n. So that's why uh, we can start from like a 1, 1. So 1, 1 should be here. And then um, update grid and uh, y and uh, x equal um, grid. And uh, first of all, um, add uh, like add a number from above like a y minus 1 and a x plus grid and a add a number from uh, left side so y and a x minus 1 yeah actually that's it after that just return grid and a minus 1 and a minus 1 because we have to return the unique pass uh, in the goal place yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of m multiply n because we uh, visit all places once and the space complexity should be order of m multiply n so same as a uh, time complexity because we create a 2d grid here but um i'll show you one more code and uh, actually we can improve time complexity to um o n actually we don't need uh, this 2d grid so i'll show you how okay so let's write the optimized solution so we know that this robot uh, coming from left side or from above because uh, this uh, robot can only move right or bottom uh, down so that's why first of all uh, keep above row equal one multiply n and then uh, start iteration so for underscore in range and uh, m minus one so m is a uh, like a number of, like a vertical um position and then y minus one because uh, we already have uh, above row here so we start from uh, middle row in this case so that's why uh, we need to reduce the number of iteration so that's why we need to minus one and then um create a current row initialized with one multiply n and then uh, we need a one more uh, for loop so for i in range and then start from one to n so why we start from one so as i explained earlier we don't have to calculate about these like edge k edge place because uh, uh definitely one way as I explained earlier, so that's why we start from 1. And then uh, update current row, and the position should be i equal, uh, and add two numbers. So, first of all, from left side, so current row i minus 1 plus 
and uh, a number from above so above low and uh, the position should be i right same and then after that uh, update above row with current row because uh, when we finish the calculation of this row uh, we go down uh, this row and uh, so that's why um, next above row should be current row yeah it's obvious and then after that just return um, above row and then minus one so we initialized current row uh, in the for loop so we can't reach this variable so that's why uh, we use above row and then um, last value should be the uh, total number of unique paths uh, in this case 10 yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and a very good um, space complexity like a bit 97 percent that's because uh, we keep the unique path with an uh, array actually two arrays and uh, so space complexity should be 2n but uh, we can uh, eliminate the constant number so overall time complexity should be order of n in this case yeah so that's all i have for you today so if you like it please subscribe the channel hit the like button or leave a comment i'll see you in the next question